Orale Vatos and Vatets. She man Arsha on the voice of reason. Holding it down here. Gangstergrass.tv on our uh, our Twitch channel. Uh should be live on our Facebook and our uh YouTube as well. Let us pray. Um Yeah, man, we are uh it's Tuesday. The uh God, what is today's date? I don't even know the dates anymore. It's Friday was the 25th. So that makes today the 28th, 29th. Friday the 25th, Sunday was 26th. Monday the 25th. Yeah, today's the 28th, my bad. Look, man, ain't nobody paying attention to these dates. I got things to do. Um, yeah, we're holding it down. Uh, greetings. I hope uh, everybody had a a good group of holidays, whatever your holidays are. Um, I'm here just kind of kicking it spent the holidays with the fam and uh doing all sorts of good groovy fun things and uh now i'm back here with all of you we are live here from the illadelph as per usual um is my youtube up and running i see us here on the book and on the uh the uh what's the other one on the book and on the twitch are we up on the tubes uh if anybody's on there let me know give me a shout um so yeah man i hope everybody had a good holiday and uh was able to spend time with as much of as many of the the people that you love as possible um i know it's been a a bit of a nightmare for a while so hopefully you guys have uh you guys got a chance to see your folks and hang out with your peoples and all that kind of good stuff um we're gonna what are we gonna do today what are we gonna do today we do a couple things today uh i told you guys that i was gonna do my uh that we're doing this thing where i am sort of taking your uh your ideas of stuff that you like and my ideas of stuff that I like and sort of running with that um I've been I was saying last week I've been uh, a a a, a ragey old fucker for a very long time and I'm trying to move past that you know I'm trying to trying to get into something new and you know more you know, a little bit more interesting stuff, a little bit uh, broader and so on and so forth. And my goal to do that has been to just get people to, and not only am I trying to get myself into new stuff right and you know liking new stuff and so on and so forth but i'm trying to get your opinions uh I'm trying to give my opinions to you about things that i like that maybe you, you know you're not the biggest fan of as well as you know trying to get uh information from you guys about what the things that you like and what makes you happy and you know regardless of how many people are uh are or are not about it as much as you are um so that's what this is. Uh, I was looking for some suggestions, um, but it seems like folks are a little, 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 little timid about talking about the things that they like that maybe other people don't. Um, and that's okay, man. Like whatever. N no, nobody's. Uh, there's nothing that anybody. We're not. We're not judging here. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're just kind of getting uh we're trying to spread the love and trying to figure out what the, like why that thing that you're all about that maybe other people don't like or whatever why you like it so much and i i'm trying to get my uh trying to get some info on that that's so why i'm i'm trying to let everybody give me their info on it cuz i really want to know 
Gordon, what's good, man? How are you, dude? I got Gordon joining us over here on Twitch. How you been, man? Hope all is well. Um, best wishes for the season. Back to you, brother. Um, yeah, man, we're trying to we're trying to send all this uh, send all this happiness. Uh, need someone to light on a CV with computer literate to set this up for me. Listen, man, Greg, Greg. I don't lie on my CV about being computer literate because I barely know what I'm doing in my own home, you know, um, but uh, I'm, I'm connected now and, uh, you know, hopefully everybody's checking us out and hearing everything. Carrie, how you doing? Um, is, are, is my YouTube, John, up? Are we up on the tube? Somebody go to, to our YouTube and let me know because I have no idea. Uh, there we are. Cool. So, um, I think I'm going to start. Uh, I think I'm going to get it started. And, uh, like I, I, I started last week too. I went, there we go. I'm going to turn this down. So ridiculous. Uh, there we go. Frank Castle's in the house. Dan Cooper's in the house. Archie Ray is in the house. Uh, what LPs albums are hiding behind you? There's a bunch of random shit in this box. Um, Dave, what's going on, man? How you doing, brother? Uh, hold on a second. Dan, I will check. Let's see what's back here. I'm just going to grab a handful of records and see what I come up with. All right. So, oh, oh, look at that. A couple of 45s in there, too. Yeah. Little brother at 45, and what's this? Is this Fo 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 at Pieces of a Dream? So we got a little brother 45, and uh, Parliament Essence of a Brain, and Up for the Downstroke 45. Uh, do, 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 do. So what do we got back here? We got Casual produced by Jay Rawls. It's got all the instrumentals on it, too. Holy smokes. Yeah, I bought this is uh, one of our. One of our uh, vinyl tap events at a mountain comics. Uh, I had to get this. Um, yeah, this is this is some dope stuff right here. I got oh, this is Substantial's record, uh, "Sacrifice" by uh, by the brother Substantial out of uh, out of out of Baltimore. Uh, uh, he's down in Maryland. Very very dope MC um, that we interviewed on Black Tribbles. I got, oh, Scritty Politi, Tinseltown to Boogie Down. All right, um, a couple of you might know the band Scritty Politi. It depends on how deep your your music goes. Uh, Archie Ray moved over to Twitch. Hey, man, thanks a lot, dude. Um, this is band Scritty Politi. They had a song called uh, Perfect Way. Uh, they had the song Tinseltown to Boogie Down. Uh this song is really special because there are four instrument, four remixes of this. Um, for what a, for whatever reason, um, that feature Lee Majors from the Bush Babies and Most Deaf, um, and the remixes are by Psycho Less from the Beat Nuts, Ali Shaheed Muhammad from Tribe. Um, there's a there's another one. So Alicia he did one. Psycho Les did one. Pete Rock did one. And there's another one. There's a double of this wax with with the other uh I can't remember what it is on. But I used to play this record all the time. All the beats are dope. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Brina, what's going on, cousin? How are you? Uh got a very cool last poets record here. Uh, the Roots, Distortion, the Static remixes, um, and I, ha I saved this one for last. This is one of my favorite uh, records that I bought at uh, the Vinyl Tap event that we did at Amalgam. Gil Scott Heron, Moving Target, and I haven't even listened to this record yet, but I bought it just because of that. Like, that's a that's an image right there, man. That is such a great shot. Um, and just, you know, the, 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 the wonder and the awe of, of Gil Scott Heron. I had to, I had to cop this. Um, so Dan, there's a ton of other just random stuff in there. 
um, that I bought at just random record shops, stuff I used to spin when I was uh, doing radio at Penn State, uh, all sorts of stuff. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I do have a little record player there. I'm not as cool as Dolio. Dolio's got the, f- the full setup there. Um, the only thing on my player right now is one of my favorite records ever, Herb Albert Rise. I talked about this before this year. Um, it was a record that my mom used to play in the mornings for to wake me and my brother up. So that's my joint right there. Uh, and I had got I got a copy at a you know, some used record joint, and it was cracked. Um, which kind of pissed me off. And then Michelle sent me another one from Cali. So big up to Michelle for that. Cause that's my joint. Um, yeah. So that's, what's back there. Uh, Dan, thanks for the question, uh, for keeping me moving. Otherwise I would just be sitting here flapping my gums. Um, so tonight what we're going to do is forgive me. My throat's a little dry tonight. We're going to, as I see what the hell these Sixers are doing. Um, come on, come on. Am I the only Sixers fan here? I I feel like I am. Anyway, uh, tonight what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, we're going to, I'm going to try and really work this thing out. Lorraine Halpin, Halpin Zaloom, what a great name. Uh, I, at Penn State, I studied, uh, I have two degrees. Uh, well, I got one at Penn State and one at, uh, Wilmington University. I studied administration of justice. I was going to be a cop. That's right. Your boy, our son, the voice of reason was actually was a cop for about a month. It's a it's a very strange story that I will uh, save for another time. But, yeah, I was I was a cop. Um, so what are we going to do today? So last week, um, last week, I talked to you guys about my my Superman fandom and why I'm a big Superman guy and what uh why in the midst of all of the things that you know all the the trash that i hear you know in all of the nerd realms that i roam in about superman and uh shout out to my man k-mass uh <laughs> um you know i gave you guys a lowdown on that this week uh, i'm gonna stay in the same same realm until uh somebody gives me one of theirs and i want to talk to you guys about Luke Skywalker. That's right. My other favorite character in pop culture, nerddom, whatever. Um, I was a Luke Skywalker fan. All right, so setting the scene. 1977. A thousand years ago for some of you. Um when Star Wars came out, I was four, and I went to see that movie five times that year. Rich, what's going on, man? How are you? Um, and it changed my entire life. My, my whole existence was different after I went to see Star Wars, right? And it was it was one of those things where... All I wanted to do was run around with the lightsaber like every other kid at the time. Um, and just, it, it was just, it made the whole, it made everything different and better and more interesting and just cooler, right? Um, and so, but I wasn't, I wasn't the Han Solo guy. And everybody else I know, you know, was a Han Solo guy. And, you know, I, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker so bad. It wasn't even funny. It was just like, well, yeah, what, like, what else would you want to do? Like, why else would you want to do, why would you want to do anything else but be this guy? He's got, you know, he's got a, he's got a laser sword and apparently can move things with his brain like okay that's pretty cool i i I like that a lot um and 
yeah, he just wanted to go to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters, no doubt. Um, but he was a kid, man. Luke Skywalker, at the end of the day, was a kid. And he was a kid that... Yes, yes, I do, Noli. I do want to... I, do, I have a lightsaber. Uh, mine actually got damaged. Um... Uh, many moons ago, but I do still have a, a purple Mace Windu lightsaber. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's still I, I still have it. Um, yeah, this was a kid who you know just wanted to hang out with his peoples and you know have a good time a little bit and wanted to you know just get out of his little weird ass desert house, right? And then oh okay, I got these two these two robots. That's cool. Oh shit, these two robots ran away. Fuck, I gotta find these things or I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh shit, the crazy old man found the two robots. Uh, okay. Oh shit, I just got thumped in the head. What? What's going What? Okay, well, we gotta get. What? Dead? Huh? Who? What? We gotta. In the span of like a couple of hours, man. Um, And I feel like, you know, for all of the. The whining tie, what's going on, babe? How are you? Uh, that that uh, they said that Luke did and whatever else. Yo, this boy's life got real weird in a couple of minutes. Uh, and so I I I, I rode with him on that. I was like, okay, you you no, you good, boy, you good. And then by the by the by the end of the movie, by the end of you know two hours later, he had, you know run you know he had blown up a death star like hold on a second and then end of the movie he gets his he gets a medallion and he gets that cool ass leather jacket yo i spent i've still i'm still looking for that yellow leather jacket uh i i'm usually hunting for brown leather jackets i found one there's a story behind all of that as well but he got that cool yellow leather jacket, and it, shit was cool, man. So by the end of the movie, I was like, yo, this dude's life is the greatest. I mean, granted, his aunt and uncle are dead, so that's kind of whack. But he did just get a fucking spaceship and then got to blow up the Death Star and save his people from the rebel, uh, from the Empire and all that kind of shit. That shit's gangster, man. Like, okay. Dan, how much of my love of Star Wars affected my music? Um... It's an excellent question. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna post a link in here to a song that I did called War of the Words, uh, with a couple of cool Star Wars references. And you hear Star Wars stuff in my songs uh fairly often. You know, random little references and stuff. Um but yeah, man, I, I'm a Star Wars dude and it it, it it shows in my music. There's there's mad nerdery and, and so on and so forth. But uh so when you uh so when you look at it man like Luke Skywalker was pretty damn dope. Second movie, okay. You know what I mean? He's uh he's out there gets hit in the head by a by a by a wampa and then stuffed into a into a dead ass tauntaun and then you know dips and goes meet Yoda and trains with the Force and all this other shit like yo, uh okay, that's kind of dope. And then then you find out that your father is the great galactic murderer that everybody is afraid of. How are you going to react to that? Like, what's your reaction to that? Y'all, everybody thinks they cool and oh, I can handle that kind of shit. Blah, 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 blah. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. You would be the same motherfucker. Yo, Keith Dudek, what's going on, bro? You be the same motherfucker with no hand crying upset. Yeah, Archie, spoiler alert. I hope y'all didn't know that. I hope y'all knew that. Uh yeah. Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Um, if you missed that by now, I don't know what to tell you. Um So yeah, man. Uh all right, cool. Third movie. Shows up dipped in all black. You know what I mean? Like, look, Jabba, this is what I'm going to do. Give me my people. We're going we gonna to be out. Otherwise, it's going to get ugly for you. 
Yeah, whatever, B. Dropping down on Hey, Gordon Allen is following us. Thanks a lot, bro. Um, dropping in the hole. All right, cool. I'm going to kill this giant-ass Rancor monster with a couple of skulls. And what? Now what? Okay, cool. Take me out on the ship. That's cool. Throw me in the Sarlacc pit. See what happens. Boop, boop, bip, flip, boom, bang, boom, zip, bam, dead. Lillian, what's going on? How are you, babe? Um, so then guess what? Now what? I'm going to go make, you know, say peace to Yoda, find out, like, oh, really? That, that really was my dad? Y'all didn't say nothing? Ben, you didn't say nothing? Word? What I told you was true from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? Luke, you will find that many, yo, dog, he had every right to be mad at Ben. All right, cool. I'm going to go down here to Endor, handle this business real quick. Oh, damn, he's here. All right, let me go deal with this ball real quick. Go up on the, go up on the Death Star again. Like, oh, didn't I blow up the last one of these? I would have been in there talking shit like, hey, Emperor, what's up? I got this, the, the other one? Yeah, remember I fucked up the first one? I would have been talking all kinds of shit. Undercover tourists, yeah, man, listen. You know I'm a sports fan, bro. I got Sixers on over here. got my Eagles on over here. You know the Eagles suck this year. By the way, actually, we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm gonna finish with. I'm gonna finish with this. Um, you know what I mean? He goes him a little bit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and him and Darth Vader start going at it. Pap, 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 pap. Gets the better. Gets the better of the greatest galactic murderer of all time, and he's like, Nah, I'm not that dude. Not that dude. Now I was a little upset that he threw his lightsaber away. Because as we've seen, lightsabers can block force lightning. So he would have been a little bit better off. But, it, you know, had to tell the story. Um, convince his father to, 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 to help him out. Like, yo, Pop, this this boy is killing me. What, what are we going to do? What, what, what you, help me out here. Handles. The end. That's the Luke Scott. That's the, that, that right there. Those three movies is what made me completely like, yeah, Luke Skywalker is that boy. Now, you hear all this other bullshit. Oh, well, you know, Han Solo was, Han Solo, Han Solo was cool. I Trust me, I have nothing against Han Solo. Han Solo was dope. Han Solo couldn't use the Force. Um, Han Solo, man, it was about the same in, 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 in piloting skills. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Luke Skywalker dude. And have been for a very long time, and and always will be. Uh, shout out to my man Rich, uh, my man Rich Dean, who I met at a comic book store I used to work at. He said, uh, he told me one time the same thing I had said to somebody else years before. Like the three people that raised me: my father, Superman, and Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is a motherfucking G, especially if you read any of the like the. The extended universe books. Listen, Luke Skywalker is a goddamn G. Don't, don't no bullshit, no games. He's a G. All praise to do Luke Skywalker, the OG, return of you know your man brought back the Jedi. That ball. Now say what you want about the the, the you know the sequels and whatever, and the, you know. Your man, your man likes different color milks. Leave him alone. Let him, let him do that. Let him do his thing. Thank you, Lillian. See, Lillian loves that I love Luke Skywalker. He likes different color milks. Leave him alone. You know what I mean? And then, say what you want about Last Jedi. Your man had the whole movie theater and everybody on the planet like, why can't I kill this boy? How's he just, what? Oh, oh, he's not even there. Spoiler alert. If you ain't seen it by now, you ain't worried about it that much. Um... Yeah, man. So, yeah, Luke Skywalker is the G. He's that dude. Okay. Oh, shit. Sixers are up by four. Um, Yeah. I'm paused. Who did I pause on, Gordon? I don't know what's happening. Can, y can the rest of y'all see me? Am I still here? Um, can you see me? All right. I'm still good on YouTube. No, that's on now. Lorraine, thanks a lot. Make sure you uh you come back and see me. Um we will we will make our way up to, to Vermont. Worry not. Um 
Yeah. So, yeah, Luke Skywalker is the G. He is he is the absolute G. Um, now according to Sleaze, I keep getting disconnected. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm uh, am I drunk? Disconnected from the Twitch chat. That seems weird. Uh, yeah. So, Luke Skywalker is that dude. Uh, Archie Ray over on on Twitch asked me if I'm in the high fantasy Lord of the Rings and all that. Dog, I play. I started playing D and D when I was uh, how old was I when I started playing D and D? Eight, seven, seven or eight. My cousin started got me started playing, and then we played. I played up through college. Uh, my homie Dan, my homie uh, with Dan and Ken and Darren and Ro and Bum and Jen, all these guys. We got in. Mad, mad, mad games of D and D. Like went in the crib, started playing. Next thing we knew, the sun was up. Kind of D and D sessions. Um. So yeah, we got it in. We got it in good. Dan, I'm doing good, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Um. Yeah, we got it in hard playing D and D. Um. Where was I? Somebody else just asked me, of course. Yeah, lots of D&D. I just watched Lord of the Rings, uh, all three of them again last week, just because they're on HBO Max, and I felt like watching them, because I told myself if I ever had any other kids, which I'm not, if I had another boy, I'd name him Aragorn. It's that real. Lord of the Rings, all day. Um. Oh, okay, Undercover Tourist. Am I a, am I a sports fan? I rep Philly sports in all things at all times. Um... Like I said, I got the Sixers on over here. I got my garbage-ass Eagles flag up. This is from a couple years ago. Uh, we did watch Lord of, Lord of the Rings on tour, dude. We really did. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, man. So we, we, yeah, it's not even a it's not even a thing. This is this has been my shit forever. Um. I haven't played in a while. I I actually I did play. Uh, I played D and D. For on Black Tribbles, we set up a uh, we had a game running, and um, we did a, a live version of a, of a joint. But I want to play again. I got two new characters that I rolled. Uh, one of my role with uh, Wrench's son, actually. Um, he's a he's apparently a D and D kid. So yeah, man, I, I I I would love to be running a campaign again in a campaign or something. Uh, my store, Amalgam Comics, um, we used to have, we used to run campaigns every Sunday. There were there were D and D groups that would come every Sunday, and I meant to get into one, but I never just never was able to make it happen um so yeah that we we we, we've been doing it we we did it for we did it for a long time as as a matter of fact and i like i said i really would like to get back into D &D, um because that's just my shit man i miss it i miss it a lot um yes uh yeah undercover tourist big sports fan um uh, Phillies, even though, you know, they've been garbage for the last few years. I went to the, went to the, the parade when they won in 08, went to the Eagles parade when they won in 2018. Um, uh, Flyers, you know, the Flyers were balling out, were balling out, I guess, balling out, pucking out, who knows, um, last year. So, you know, I'm trying to, trying to get into soccer a little bit, not the biggest soccer dude, but the union are pretty dope. So I got to rep. Yeah. You know, I got to be, I'm going from four, from four for four to five for five, you know, got to rep Philly, uh, and Penn state sports, you know, like we said earlier, I'm a Penn state guy. So I rep Penn state sports, shout out to our women's volleyball team. That's been dope forever. Um, I, 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 I gave the football team a pass this year. Um, I gave all, Anybody that was playing sports this year that was trash, I gave him a pass because the whole year was trash. Look at that. Sixers came back and are up by seven. Um, I had all these people talking all this smack on the internet. Uh, hey, Nate, I got a, I got a, a, a whole squad uh, of fellas that uh, we got a group chat, group text chat that were talking all this smack earlier about how the Sixers are garbage. And I told them that nobody else could say anything anymore unless they said something positive. And now the Sixers are up by seven with 20 seconds left, and we're about to win this game. And I want all these guys to shut the fuck up and be happy. Um, yeah. So this is this is where I'm at right now, man. This is this is exactly where I'm at um, in this world of Philly sports. Um, we'd be quite honestly, Philly as, as, a, as in general would be lost 
without uh without gritty. DB on uh, YouTube, uh, Dan Cooper on YouTube wants me to wants to know if I can drop a Luke Skywalker rhyme right now. Um, hmm, that's a good question. That is an excellent question. Let me see. Uh, huh, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let me see. It's been a minute. I'm 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 a little bit behind. I've I've been my writer's block has been heavy the last few few days, so I, I, let me see. Um. All right, so check it. I never left, so I'm not back on the scene. And I rep from Mount Airy all the way to Tatooine. Randall Aaron Green, but if my name had an L, I would hope that it would Luca. I got a story trying to tell. See, I swing my saber, kill Lord Vader. Nah, I'm just playing, but I'll see you later. On my back like Yoda, crack a soda, it's over. And then I started back in the beginning. See, I rhyme, I don't sing, but I drop some ill stuff like I fly X-Wing. And when I bring stuff, watch how I wreck paw. Two torpedoes right in your depth star. Blow it up. The explosion gotta run from. Cause conundrums. Trust me, you don't want none. Never humdrum. I keep it more exciting. Shock the whole joint when I blast my force lightning. Something like that. I don't know. Um Yeah, I got I got a little something. A little something out there. Um James was good. I got you know, we got people all over the place. Thank you, Archie. Thank you very much, man. We yeah, you know I mean, I still got I got a little something, man. I haven't I haven't it's I haven't been doing a lot of a lot of, a lot of music stuff in the last few weeks. Basically, just focusing on the kids and trying to do the uh, do the whole thing with the you know with Christmas and and the kids and so on and so forth. But yeah, I'm still out here um, trying to trying to do the, trying to do the rapidy raps and such. We got a uh, we got some cool stuff coming up. As a matter of fact, okay, so um, I'm gonna post this as well. Make sure you check out the uh, Gangsta Grass. Check it out on all of our uh, medias and such. Um, we are doing this thing on uh, New Year's Eve. So, as many of you know, uh, my Christmas was good, by the way. It was really, really dope. Hung out with my kids and my family. We just chilled out. It was fantastic. Um, I got a PS4, which may not have been the best idea. Um, Santa brought that for my for my six year old and for the whole house. And my 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 thumb is already starting to get its little little callus back. So, um, damn it, what was I saying? Oh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Uh. So as many of you know, Gangsta Grass was scheduled to go on tour with uh, American Music Abroad, um, a program that's that's set up by the American State Department and sends American musicians all over the world to make music with musicians from all over the planet. And we were supposed to go to uh, Morocco, right? And then we were supposed to go to Baffin Bay up in Canada, which is up in the Arctic Circle. I was really trying to see some northern lights. Like, that was the plan for this year. Um, and then, you know, we all got kicked in the collective asshole by COVID. And so we couldn't go. Um, we've been home handling our biz and whatnot. And so AMA um, linked up with a company that created a software called Virtual Live. And Virtual Live, Justin, look, we can't wait to get back out to the Pacific Northwest, too. Um, Virtual Live was a was a is a program that allows us to record together, even though we're not together. Most of the time, you know, most of the, the videos that you've seen of us is all stuff that we recorded on our own and then got spliced together. Um, this Virtual Live program is a thing that allowed us to do it together and drop the lag down to to milliseconds as opposed to you know the three or four or five second lag that you were getting through a lot of zooms and so on and so forth um and so what we did was uh we hooked up with them and they put together uh they built a whole um 
Hey, James Peterson cheering us. Thanks a lot, man. Um, they built a digital version of Times Square, right? And then they recorded us performing together separately. And then they're putting the whole thing together for New Year's Eve. And so um, in the next day or so, make sure you check out uh, any of your Gangster Grass social media that you are connected to. If you are not connected, get connected. Um, and so you guys can see the, the link for where that's going to be and what it's all about. And you can see Gangster Grass this New Year's Eve um, and celebrate the uh, the demise of the demon that is 2020 and pray that the Phoenix of 2021 arises bright and beautiful for us all, uh, because we all need it. Um, and so that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be coming up, uh, New Year's Eve. I want you guys to make sure you can see that and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, man, this is a. Uh, it was it was fantastic that that this thing happened that we were able to make it happen, and um, I, we're waiting on the last very bit of the boop a doop and the thingy thing that uh, that allows us to to put to to put that out for you guys. Um, I want you guys to make sure you have something interesting to do while you're in the house on New Year's Eve. Um, please, please, please just stay in the house. Like, don't nobody else want to be in the house neither. Like, listen, I, I would really, I would love to be on a stage somewhere New Year's Eve, rocking the hell out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with a whole bunch of people losing their minds. Ha <laughs> ha, Sixers get the win, baby. All right, there we go. Sixers win by seven. Oh, they suck. They suck. Blah, 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 blah. Guess what? We won. We won. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, I would much rather be on a stage, you know, doing some, some super dope bluegrass hip-hop stuff and, and rocking hell out and, you know, having a good-ass time and whatnot. But we might... No, we're not able to do that. And, yes, it sucks donkey butt. Big giant donkey butt, um, but we can't. And so, if we can, if we can soon, uh, wait, what? The, what the heck is this? Do 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 do. This is something different. We'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, man, I would, I would definitely, uh, uh, much rather be doing that. But instead, we're all gonna be home chilling. You know, relaxing with with you know the people that we love and uh, enjoying watching the year come in and um, keeping our fingers crossed for all this amazing stuff that we're trying to make happen. And like, there's some there's some amazing stuff that we have. Like, I can't even tell you this one. It, it's pretty dope, though. It's pretty damn dope. And if it happens, bruh, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Um. So fingers are crossed on all of that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I I don't have the Noni. I don't have that link yet. Um, but I will make sure it's gonna be all over all of our social media, all of my social media, everywhere. You'll have all of that stuff because I want everybody. Hey, look at that. Um, uh, I like a tip. Um. Yeah, you guys are going to see all of that very, 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 very soon. Um, the uh, the other thing, the other thing that we're doing is, uh, Rich, thanks a lot, man. Enjoy. Bill, thanks a lot. The the background of this of this nightmare, this whole thing, this is just my house, bro. Um, yeah, so some of this stuff that's 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 happening. Ooh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so so good. Um, shout outs to, uh, Farrow, wherever the hell he's at, uh, Brian Farrow being Brian Farrow decided it was time to go to Costa Rica and do 
whatever it is he's doing. I, I'm not even sure what he's doing, but he's there. Um, and I'm, you know, whenever, whenever we, uh, sort of connect, uh, on our various, uh, stuff, I always like to make sure that I shout him out just in case and make sure he didn't, you know, fall down a, a, a pit or get, you know, kidnapped by something or other. I don't know. I don't know. With that guy, you never know. Uh, but shout out to Pharaoh. Um, shout out to Wrench. Make sure you guys go check out the, uh, the fantastic article. Uh, that wrench did uh on what's the name of this what's the name of this site i want to make sure i get this right it's uh check your dot com yeah check your head uh check your head podcast dot com uh it was a fantastic article um that wrench did um and you know just about it's a the site is about um uh, mental health for, for musicians. Um, and it's very, very cool. Definitely, definitely check Definitely worth checking out. James, you got six inches of snow outside. That sucks. Dude, we got, we got six, about six here in Philly, uh, about two weeks ago. It's all gone now. And honestly, if it never snows again, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm not a snow person at all. So fuck snow in its snow hole. Um, where were we? Where were we? Ah, yes. So, like I said uh, earlier, apparently no one likes my idea what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do this anyway because there's a lot um, There's a lot that I really want to make happen. Gordon's going to be working all night New Year's Eve. What are you doing? What are you doing, Gordon? Yeah, yeah, man. Wrench, wrench did his thing. What? Blizzard? What? Don't I want no damn blizzard? Keep your blizzards. I don't want it. Keep that mess. Blizzards are whack. Snow is whack. And I'm going to continue saying that for the rest of my life. Not a fan of snow. No. 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 You can keep all that. Um, where was I going? I have, I have no attention span whatsoever. None at all. Huh. I was saying something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Tennessee got snow. Everybody got they got a little bit. I, I don't know. I, you would think 40-plus years into life I would stop complaining about winter. I know what it is. I know when it's coming. Um, uh, wait, wait. Oh, I thought you said, would you go to platinum? I thought you said, when we go platinum. I was like, wait, we went platinum? When do we go platinum? Oh shit! I'm trying to go platinum. That would be dope. Um. By the way, the next time I talk to you guys, it will be, it will be 2021. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone that is uh, listening and check us checking us out has had a chance to really check out all the fantastic stuff that uh, the whole Gangsta Grass family has put out this year. As you know, the album No Time for Enemies came out um, in January. The mixtape. Uh, my brother, where you at? Dropped. Um, you can find that at uh, audiomac.com slash gangstergrass. Make sure you check that out. Um, Dolio's album, Oral Impetus, dropped. You can check that out. Um, uh, on his band camp page, my album, Boom Bap Therapy, came out. You can check that out on mine. Um, as well as my EP, The Art of Words, is, is streaming on all your favorite streaming platforms. So make sure you uh, can check all that stuff out and find you some 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 goodness. Are Gangster Grass members pet owners? Um, Brian's got a cat. Dan's got a cat. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't know. I had a cat. She died last year. No, year before last. February 2019. She was a thousand years old. She was the oldest cat that ever lived. Um, I believe she was a pharaoh's cat. Not Brian Pharaoh's, an actual pharaoh. Like, that's how old she was. Her name was Chloe, and she was a miserable, miserable old bitch. But, uh, yeah, she, she passed away two years ago in February and my 
kids, my my son and daughter have four cats at their mom's house, and my son's got a oh, th- dude. There's nothing to be sorry about that about that cat dying. She it was time for her to go. Like death had been standing, just kind of sitting on my doorstep for two years. Like, are you ready yet? Can you please? And she was like, nope, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You leave me the hell alone. Um. Uh, extra horses? Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, I don't need any extra horses. I don't have room for one horse. I'm good. <laughs> James Scott is like 17. And he's an asshole. Yeah, you know what? He's a pain in the ass. Okay, I dig that. I dig that. Um, she wasn't really a pain in the ass. She was just, just miserable. I had a mouse problem too. And she would see this mouse and be like, hmm, yeah, how you doing? How are you doing? What would it take for some talented artists like y'all to collab with a new artist in the UK? Um, eh, not a whole lot. Like, you know, hit us up. Let me know what you what you're working with. I'm gonna say this, and this is this is me. This is this is very important. This is just coming from me. I I'm not fucking with just everybody. Uh, and there's a, there's a very specific reason for that. Um, because my banjo player is amazing. My fiddle player is amazing. My guitar player and lead singer is amazing. The other MC in this band is amazing. And I'm pretty good. So if you're not on that level, I don't want you to look bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have you come on a record and I'm dropping bars and Dolio's dropping bars and you're like, yeah, the cat in the hat. I caught her when she shat. Wiped it up off the mat. And it's like that. Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And even that wasn't terrible. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, it's, a lot of these, it's a lot of these rap cats I hear that are no good. And so whether you're UK, US, Ghana, Japan, uh, wherever, if you're not if if you're not on the level, I, I would advise you to get on the level before you want to start rocking out with us. If you're on the level, hit us up. You know what I mean? You can hit us on any of our social media. You got links, whatever. Uh, we'll make it happen. Sherry, what's up, kid? Um, but. Yeah, I that that's for my advice to anybody that wants to get down with this is be dope. And everybody that we've worked with has been very dope. Everybody that we're working with in the future is very very dope. So be dope. That's all I that's all I can ask from you. And don't hit the microphone with your coffee cup. Um where where was I going with that? Where was I going with that? Oh yeah. That was a question that I got asked. Um, there are other questions. Are there other questions? So you just trying to get rid of three horses. You got three horses. You just trying to give them away before somebody starts college. All right. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll check. I guess Matt, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Um, what was the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about? There was that. There was that. Lots of cool questions coming in. Thank you guys very much, man. I really appreciate all the questions and the and the feedback and such. Archie, now you know the deal. Yeah, man. Hang out over in the live streams with us. And yeah, man, let us know, man. If you're trying to get it in, just, just make sure you're dope. I don't want to. I, I Because I've been that guy. I've been that guy on the track. There I was, you know, you know, didn't, didn't, didn't pull my weight. Um, and it's not a feeling I want for anybody. It's not a feeling I want for anybody. The first joint I ever did uh, it was me, Lewis Logic, and my man Shanti, and they murdered it. And I was, uh, I was alright. These guys murdered it, and I never want to have that feeling again. So I was like, all right, let me step these bars up. Um, so yeah, if you don't, you don't want to have that feeling, you know, step your bars up, um, and make sure you're 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 you got heat. And if not, then I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying. Um, 
I like uh, like I was saying as I was before I got so distracted as I easily do. Make sure you. Oh, you got hooks. All right, yeah, man. Give me something. Give me something. Send me something. Um, look at that Sixers win. Okay, I'll take that. Joel twenty nine and sixteen. Tobias twenty six and eleven. Seth Curry seventeen six and four. I'll take that. Okay, give me that. That's a good game right there. Sixers win by seven. Come back. They were losing most of the game. I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. Um, Nico, what's going on, man? How you doing, brother? We are. Uh, I usually only go till 10, um, but because I got to put my son to bed, but he's with his mom tonight, so I may go a little bit longer tonight. We'll see. We'll see who wants to hang out and who all is here. Um, I do want to try and get somebody, somebody else's thing, like that thing that you like that maybe somebody else doesn't like or whatever. Um, I already did one. Uh, Last week I did Superman. This week I did a little bit, a uh, little bit on uh, Luke Skywalker, and I really want to, uh, you know, I want people to, I want to know like your your thing that maybe not everybody else is about. Maybe everybody's about it, and I just don't know why I'm not about it. Um, uh, but I need to, uh, but I need to get about it. Um. I'm gonna, you know, as I'm doing this thing, as I'm doing this, uh, this whole, this whole, uh, chat and such, this whole show idea that I'm, that I'm coming up with in my head to kind of get, to let go of my own haterism. Right. I don't want to be a hater. I don't I don't want to. Um it, it's 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 heavy on me. It weighs heavy on me and I don't I'm trying to let go of that. And so if I can get rid of all that, it'll feel it'll feel a lot better, you know what I mean? And so for example, I've never been a big uh a big Oh wait, there's another question there. Gordon, my thoughts on the vaccine. Listen, bro. If I, I, I've been trying to get, I'm trying to get in, get ahead of the line real quick. I'm trying to get it. I'll take the Moderna John. I'll take the, the Pfizer John. I'll take the one that my man had made in his basement. He said it was just some Kool-Aid and um, a tab of ecstasy, two packets of Kool-Aid and some sprinkles. I was like, I mean, if that works too, whatever. Um. I feel like, uh, I, I, I'm kidding, but no, nah, man. Um, one of the things that, uh, oh, Lillian, thanks a lot, man. That was a lot of fun, man. I had a lot of fun doing the Michael Donald and Steely Dan John. Um, one of the things that hasn't really been talked about through this whole thing, um, in the, in the regular world, right. When we were all just sort of out and about doing our thing, there was all this talk about, you know, your introvert friends make sure they're doing okay. Is there, you know, I ain't heard nary nan one thing during this whole thing about checking on your extrovert friends, checking on them people that be like, "Yo, dog, what's up?" and just want to be out there and like, "Hey," walk into the party like, "Hey, what's up, boy? Hey, man, how you doing?" Boop, 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 bing, 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 bang, like those guys, like me. Like my man Isaiah, like a lot of cats that I know that are like, yo, we out here. Boom. What's up, everybody? Life at party. We just in the house now talking to our cats or to listen. I love my son. I love my my son, Alex. You can't have the most fascinating conversations with a seven year old. You just can't. I love that boy. He's amazing. He's so cute and funny. And that boy knows his football and his basketball. And we talk sports all the time. Kind of. Um, I got to get back into the world, man. I miss y'all. I miss, you know, I miss, I was saying this the other day. I seen, uh, I was looking at, I was just looking at people's masks and stuff. And I was like, 
yo, you really don't, you don't realize how important a person's mouth is to their face. If you, until you don't see the people's mouths anymore, like everybody can be really sexy. If you just see their eyeballs and then that mask come down, you're like, Oh, um, but not just that, but just from a standpoint of just seeing people smile, you know what I mean? That, that shit's important, man. And I think, I think a lot of, a lot of the extraness that's happening right now is because people aren't able to connect as much, even just seeing each other, right? You're not be able to see each other. So you're not able to connect as well. Uh, and so it's, it's kind of, it's kind of sad that you can't do that. You know what I mean? And so if you're one of those people like me that, you know, doesn't have a problem being out there in the world and, and, and isn't, isn't very introverted. I, I, I'm lucky enough that I can, I've trained myself to be able to, to sort of thrive in any situation and just, you know, whoever's there, try and make some connection with those people. Not everybody can do that. And, and, you know, I, and I dig that. But when you are trained to have trained yourself to do that and enjoy that shit so much and then can't do it, man, I was talking to my Christmas tree the other day. I was talking to my dishes. I talk to my dishes when I'm washing them. Like it's it's getting it's getting weird. I talk to my laundry when I fold it and it um it, it's sad and frightening and kind of pathetic but at the same time it's like I, I really just sort of miss all of this Stephen Barry thanks a lot man we appreciate that um and so I'm all about doing whatever needs to be done to get us all back out into the world safely safely um And so I, you know, I, while the idea of, you know, not fully trusting anybody with everything, I'm okay with the idea that a bunch of people that know the science of these things worked really hard to try and make this better for all of us. I'm okay with that thought. Um, and I trust that because I'm I'm a fairly trusting dude, um, and so I, I'm I'm okay with that. And so when it comes time, like uh, I got a call from the the nursing home that my dad is at, and they were like, "Hey, just so you know, um, we're gonna be getting you know initial vaccine shots this week coming." And uh, I have power turn. So they asked me like, "Do you want to give him a shot?" I was like, "Hell yeah, get that man a shot." get him a shot man i'm okay with that and yeah my dishes they weren't talking back but they were definitely like yeah i'll see you you know what i mean it wasn't a, it wasn't a, an actual conversation but they 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 weren't disagreeing with what i was saying um but yeah so i i'm all about the idea of i'm all about the concept that i trust uh, yes, the stream is available. Uh, we're up on our, our uh, on the Gangster Grass Facebook page as well as uh, Gangster TV, which is a link to our our Twitch page. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, Stoic thirteen thirty seven. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I want this. I, I I want this over. I want it over. And I want everybody feeling okay. And I want to get back on stage. And I want to get back on the road. And I want to see all of you people. And, uh, you know, do shows and rock out for y'all. And have a really good time. And uh, that's that's what I want more than anything. So, God willing, this 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 will, this will all get taken care of soon. And then we'll be able to go back to having a good time. Um, that's the, you know, my... my, my Everything that I can cross is crossed. Um, it's, uh, you know, that's why I'm not wearing pants. Shh, that's a joke. That's a joke. I'm wearing pants. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's ten o'clock. This is when I usually shut down. 
Um, but I don't have my son tonight, so and I only have a little bit to do. Well, I do got to wash these dishes. Um, but I'm gonna stick around for a little bit, hang out with y'all. Thank you guys for for joining me tonight. Um, I do want to still, like I said, I'm still throwing ideas out there, still waiting to hear get ideas back from you guys about whatever the the thing that you're. Hey, Stoic 1337, thanks for joining us on Twitch. Um, yes, man, I, dude, I can't wait to get back to Denver. We had a good time in Denver, bro. Denver was the shit. We had a couple of good times in Denver. We did a show one night at uh, uh what was the name of that place? It starts with a C. I forget what it was. Uh, two of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, one, for some reason in this place, you could smoke weed. So the whole place smelled like weed the whole time. I don't know if it's still the same. So the cigarette smokers had to come outside and smoke the cigarettes, uh, which made me laugh. And then the same thing, the, uh, the same night that we were on, there was there's two stages. The same night that we were on, um, Evidence and Alchemist did a show. And I was like, uh, what? Like, I almost missed our time to go on stage. I was checking out Evidence and Alchemist. Um, for anybody who don't know who Evidence and Alchemist are, Alchemist is a producer, a hip-hop producer, and uh, an absolute gem of a dude uh, who makes amazing beats, uh, probably some joints you've heard of. And Evidence is also a producer and an MC. Uh, he's in a group called Dilated Peoples um, with uh, DJ Babu and Rock Science, Rock Hour Science, uh, and... Yeah, and he's also very, very dope. And they were doing a show. They had a uh, did a show together, uh, and they were killing it. And I was over just rocking out in the crowd with, you know, rocking out to listen to Evidence of Babs. And I was like, oh wait, that I have a show to do. <laughs> Funny. Uh, so I ran over there and, uh, and <laughs> got on stage like two seconds before we were about to go on it was pretty funny um yeah man so yeah i'm definitely ready to get back to denver and everywhere else that's dope um because i need to i need to get back on the stage i need to i need to rock out again and i really really miss it really really miss it um, and there's so many new people to meet. Like a lot of you guys are, are, are brand new. Like, you know, shout out to all our fans on here that we've met. Um, but this was, uh, the Ev show was, that was the second time we went to Denver. So I think that was 2014 maybe. Yeah, it was the second time we went to Denver. Um, yeah, because that was the year. That was the year of the the polar vortex. I don't know. I remember y'all remember the polar vortex, but the uh, the polar vortex was actually rooted right above our van. So everywhere we went, it was like the most ridiculous uh, snowstorms and shit that they had seen. They had the worst snow they had seen in Vail, Colorado, uh, in fifty years the time we drove into uh vale colorado <laughs> it was insane uh when are we going to be booking venues again i don't know i have no idea um a lot of the stuff that didn't happen this year has sort of the the idea is that all right we're just going to start it back over we're, we're you know whenever they do it next we're kind of back on the bill i don't know with a lot of the venues who's still going to be open, who's still going to have funds, whatever. So, you know, we're all hoping to get, you know, get this, this stimulus money out there so the venues can open it back on. Uh, shout out to Amazon Prime Music for turning Dan Cooper onto our music. Um, so fingers are crossed, you know, whenever, whenever it happens, it happens. We're not sure when that's going to be, but hopefully it'll be soon enough that we're able to, to get back on the, get back on and, and, and start rocking out with y'all again. Cause we really, really, We'd really like that. Um, that is that is the plan, and hopefully we can we can do something with that um, because we 
like I said, we just haven't been on in forever. How much to pay play in your back garden? Um, I mean that all depends on how big your back garden is, and how much. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I pray to God, space is still gonna be open. Space was the shit. We had such good times at space. Um, shout out to shout out to space. That's my joint, man. Uh, they space has a a uh their green room vincent how you doing man thanks for joining us uh we're on 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 the youtubes um space has a joint uh their green room is nicer than like most of the apartments i've ever lived in so dope man that shit is bonkers it's you know and then there's another room off of there like a little side room where we actually did a photo shoot there with uh our friend janet shout out to janet out in chicago um and and then there's a recording studio in there. That, that whole place is just fantastic, fantastic. Um, Noli, thanks a lot. I mean, we really do appreciate all the support, man. Um, yeah, it was it was it was the kind of thing where those of us that are, you know, that that make the 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 their their most of their living doing this music stuff. Um, it was a surprise, and it was like a real quick just jab in the mouth like oh wait what we can't do what now um and so you know i'm lucky i was able to sort of breeze through um and you know help out some folks that that needed it but i, but I got some help when i needed it and you know still trying to still trying to you know i'll take a i'll take a grant from whoever you know what i'm saying like uh hey we're giving money to musicians hey i'm a musician what's up you trying to throw some money yeah all right cool boom um so you know if that happens hooray but the whole thing was very much just a such a surprise that we were scrambling and a lot of folks were are still scrambling you know nine months almost a year later um we uh jersey sentinel what's good how are you welcome see on a regular night you would have missed us i'm glad you glad i stuck around a little late just for you um yeah, about playing in your in your band, Archie. I mean, in your in your uh, in your garden. Well, I mean, hit us up. We'll try and work something out. Whatever. Um, hit our book our booking agent. We'll, we'll see what we can make happen. Um, yeah. So as far as when we're gonna start booking stuff again, a lot of that just depends on when stuff opens back up, when folks are feeling safe enough to do it, uh, and. I, I will go on stage with a mask on, take off my mask, spit bars, and then put it back on. I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just the idea of being back in a circle of, of people again. Like, I can't tell you how much I miss people, dude. Like, I don't know if any of the rest of y'all are going through it like me. Because not everybody is a... is 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 that kind of dude that's just out there like that, like me. I'm I'm out there. And for, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what's this? Wait a minute. There, there, there. Wait, give me this New Year's Eve. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. No, that's not the one. I'm getting, I'm getting, getting breaking news right now from sleeves. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I gotta find that. Hold on. Um Yeah, so when uh when all this uh when I have all this information, by the way, I will get it all to you because I want you guys to hang out with us. Uh as I mentioned earlier this uh during the stream, we are gonna be doing something uh this New Year's Eve. Um and Lube, what's up, man? Shout out to my man Brian Louie. That's one of my fraternity brothers. Um, we're gonna be doing something this New Year's Eve that we uh, we hooked up with uh, the folks at AMA, the American Music Abroad Program, um, that we were supposed to tour with this year, and um, we are. Uh, 
my god, it totally just froze. We're gonna be y'all thought that was your computer. That was totally me. Um, we're gonna be doing a live stream New Year's Eve from Times Square. Times Square. Uh, actually, a very fantastic, uh, digitally rendered Times Square that we're going to be perf uh, a performance of us broadcast from, and I will post those links on all of the various Gangster Grass social media, medias, mediumses, medios, whatever, however you, however you put it. Um, yeah, all that'll be up in the next. <sighs> I don't want to say day or so. I'm hoping to have it up this evening. Uh, maybe by make sure you just, make sure you just check us all out uh, tomorrow. I'll, we should have all that stuff up for you guys, so you can find something cool to do on New Year's Eve and just hang out and watch a little bit of Gangster Grass and enjoy that um, with your friends and loved ones. Um, Leslie, how you doing? Um, Shout out to Leslie, by the way, up in Canada. Um, we uh, we were yeah you know, we were supposed to be all over Canada this year, boy. Like all over Canada, like all over Canada. It was supposed to be a wrap. Fucking COVID, man. This this boy, your man was just throwing jabs at the world. Like, pat 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 pat. So, um. One more time, I do want to, uh, I am shouting out my own idea because I really want to make this thing work, man. I really want this thing to happen. Um, what I'm trying to do is, yes, thank you, Noli. I be tripping. Uh, if you go to gangsterdress.com and click on Barnstormers, you can become a Barnstormer. Um, it's a, it's got all sorts of exclusive membership levels and there's all sorts of stuff there that the whole rest of the world can't see unless they're Barnstormers members too. The plan is for the entire world to be Barnstormers and then all of you can see it. But right now, only if you become a member, uh, and get access to all this exclusive stuff that we're doing, um, that is lots and lots of fun and pretty dope. There's, there's some, there's holiday music on there and all sorts of shit man so go to uh, gangsterass.com slash barnstormers check that out uh join us there and get all the new new goodness um see i would be forgetting all this stuff if i didn't have all my friends here reminding me to tell you what to do oh man i don't think i'm drunk if i can get drunk off of coffee and la crow nines uh, than I am, but I don't think I, by the way, LA Crow 9, this is all wrench, like, get it, ready, ready, LA Crow, and the IX is the 9, it's all wrench, not only does this do create a new type of music, oh, wait, there it is, Gangsta, uh, you can go to gangstagrass.com slash New Year's Eve for all the New Year's Eve details as they as they come in. So here, let's let's do this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right here in the YouTube chat. Watch this. Gangsta Grass. Gangsta grass dot com slash N Y E. Is that right? Boom. That's right there for my YouTubians. Hold on, hold on. We're going to put this up for the Facebook rights, too. Gangstagrass.com slash NYE. Boom. All that stuff you can check out, and you guys will see all the stuff that's going to be happening, happening as it develops, because there's going to be new and exciting stuff every few minutes. Um. No, 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 no. You, you know, you guys can. Yeah, that whiskey is all yours. I, I don't drink. You would get me drunk off of like a a cap full of Zima. I'd be like, Mwah. so no, we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna skip that. We're gonna skip that all together. Um. Once again, it's your man Arson, the voice of reason, holding it down. Gangstergrass TV. Um. Usually, uh, this segment, your favorite rappers, favorite rappers, uh, I'm talking about hip-hop stuff and all sorts of 
good rapidly rapness um right now i am trying to get everybody involved in this thing i'm trying to do where you guys are telling me about the things that you like that maybe i don't like because i'm trying to not dislike things anymore i'm trying well let me not say that. i'm trying not to hate on things anymore and i've been a i've been a tremendous hater for a long time um and i'm trying to let go of that and so to let go of my my hateration because to quote the great mary j blige we don't need no hateration um and uh, i'm trying to be done with it my favorite rapper is black thought uh lead mc from the roots um that dude just does things with words and and verses and puts them together in ways that mortals like most of the rest of us just can't do um he's just absolutely am amazing and he keeps getting better that's the the really great thing about it like when the roots came out he was dope and he just keeps getting better his album streams of thought volume three dropped this year and it's it's magnificent um yeah so um i actually did a couple of did a uh, couple of roots breakdowns this year um i did a great one on uh well i thought it was pretty cool uh malik b the uh, other mc from the roots that passed away earlier this year uh malik b rest in peace um and um what else did i do i think i did fonte i i did uh did i do j live i don't remember if i did j live uh, i may have to revisit a couple of these because i really love that dude too uh so shout out to fonte shout out to j live um farrell monch uh one of my favorites uh krs1 who just dropped the new album that i gotta check out um i've been a krs fan for 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 decades Wow, decades. Holy shit, I'm old. Um Yeah, so yeah, those are those are my oh uh Sa Rock is one of my one of my new favorites. She's a she's an absolute monster and a fantastic human being as well. Shout out to Sa Rock. Um she really really is fantastic. Yeah, Red Man and Pun. Yeah, shout out to Red Man and Pun. Um big pun, rest in peace. We missed that dude. Um yeah, I gotta. I need more. You know, I think I may do a little, put a little pun in my life today. Maybe I'll take a little pun with me tomorrow. A little bit of pun might not be a bad idea. M is M is M. All right. So okay. All right. So let's let's start here. Um, I am. I Eminem is very good at what he does. I just don't care that he does it. Um. He's very good at at putting words together and his punchlines can be really clever. I just don't care. I don't care about the crazy shit that he he was talking for in the beginning of his career. I don't care how introspective he might be now. I just it just like I I'm glad he does what he does. Uh, for himself and his fans, and shout out to him and all of them. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm good. I've never, I never bought an Eminem album. Um, I, I think I bought a single or two, but the single that I bought, I bought the, the Bad Meets Evil scare album with him and Royce the Five Nine because I love Royce the Five Nine. Um, yeah, and I get where some of his songs would definitely would definitely touch home to cats that 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 have experienced some of the same things that he has, you know what I mean? A lot of the stuff that he had, you know, dealing with drugs and whatever, whatever else. Um, and I thought Stan was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant song, man. Like this, this, that was a fantastic story. Um, but he's just not, he's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will, I will forever rep his ability. Like the dude is dope. The dude is fantastically dope at at building words and you know when he's really trying to do it building worlds and ideas i just don't care um i do want him to put out a song where he just dishes the shit out of little pump though because the idea that little pump wanted to talk shit 
about a guy. Like, no. 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 Just no. There's only, like, three Lils that I rep for. Um, and according to, to Spotify last year, there are 80,000 different artists registered with Lil under the name. 80,000. I'm going to just let that sink in for me. I had to say to Paul so y'all understand what, what those numbers are about. 80,000 motherfuckers. Like, and I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll take Lil Fame from MLP, Lil C's from Junior Mafia, and, um,. Lil' Kim, obviously. Other than that, you can have the rest of them. I'm good. You can have all of them. Every single one of them. I, I don't need anything that they're doing. I'm I'm like I said, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm trying to trying to trying to let go of the, let go of the hateration and the holleration. But I'm good. Uh, I'm. It's not my. I, I'm. I'm too old. I'm just too old, and so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep it pushing this way. Uh, I'm gonna maintain my progression and just not and just let that mess go. Um. And hopefully, no. C's was never great. C's was never great, but he was. C's was just. He was a lot of fun with Junior Mafia. Kim was dope. Kim was dope. And no, nah, see, I don't fuck with Lil Wayne. I've never fucked with Lil Wayne. Never. Not once. There uh, as a matter of fact, for me, one of the biggest mistakes in the history of music um was on Kanye West's third album. That song Barry Bonds. The beat was dope. Wayne, uh, 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 Weezy killed it. All right, not Weezy. Yeezy killed it. Um, Wayne on that thing was a was a was a mistake. It was an absolute mistake. So yeah, uh, Lillian, Lil Nas X. Um, I've 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 said my piece on Lil Nas X. I I, I wish him well. I wish him well. Uh, no, Left Eye was not the best female rapper ever lived. Not even close. And I loved Left Eye. Love Left Eye to death. She was amazing. She was a lot of fun. Shout out to TLC. Um, no. Nope. Queen Latifah was better than Left Eye. Queen Latifah was way better than Left Eye. Uh, Cy Rock's better than Left Eye. Lyric Jones, who just put out an album this year, better than Left Eye. Um... Gene Gray, better than the left eye. Lauren Hill, better than the left eye. MC Light, better than the left eye. Yeah, bring it. Let's go. I've heard good things about Snow the Product. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'd love me some left eye. Left eye was my favorite member of uh of TLC. I was I was really sad when she died. How do I feel about He Man? Bro, I just I just found my Castle Gray skull and a bunch of my He Man figures in my garage. I rep for He Man real hard. Uh, Skeletor. As a matter of fact, you want to hear something dope? Look up Ludacris He Man. Ludacris did a uh, he did a joint with uh with a He Man sample that he couldn't clear. Um, so he couldn't put it on an album, but it's out there and you can hear it. And it's fantastic. Young MA is all right. I uh, yeah, I mess with Young MA. She's pretty dope. Um, who else is better than Left Eye? I'm not gonna go any further. There, there. Yeah, I, I. But I enjoyed me some Left Eye. I miss her. I cried when she died. That, that broke my heart. Although she did der- burn down a motherfucker's house, which was kind of fucked up. That was kind of wild. That was kind of wild. Yeah, Skeletor. Look up that uh, ludicrous He Man. Uh, the sample is is so dope. So very dope. 
What do I think of Juice World? Eh, you know what? I've never listened to Juice World. Um, because not for any not for any real reason either. Uh, just I haven't gotten into. There's a lot of newer rappers that I just haven't gotten into that I probably should have to avoid avoid the hate to not be that guy hating. Uh, but I, I just haven't. I've heard, you know, I've heard he was all right. Um, but I don't know that he's... I don't know what he's like. Yo, Noli, the, the whole, I was talking to talking to uh, my homie at work today about Lauren Hill. I loved Lauren Hill. I really, really did, and still do. You know, still respect Lauren Hill for for everything she's done. I am okay. All right, so here's one more thing. I don't love uh miseducation on Lauren Hill. Don't love it. And a lot of people tell me like, "Oh my god, how do you not love this record?" I don't think she rhymes enough on it. I just don't think that she did and it breaks my heart because when uh the score came out, and she was, uh, well, not even, not even when the score came out, when the first Fuji album came out, she was murdering that record. And then when the score came out, she murdered that record. Like, it, was, it, it wasn't even fair how much better she was than Proz and Clef on, on that record, right? So when the score dropped, or when Miss Education dropped, I was like, oh, this shit gonna be hot. All right, cool. The first joint came out, went, you might win some, and she was killing that. All right, boom. And I had to wait like four or five tracks for her to rhyme again. I was like, what's happening? What, why, what, where the verse is at? Don't get me wrong, Lauren can sing her ass off. The album is really good. But I came into that. I tell this story all the time about the first time I ever saw uh, um, dude I still watch He-Man all the time I don't know what you're talking about Story 1337 I love that show um, watching listening to Zealots from the Fuji's album The Score right I was, it was 96, me and my man Lewis were both about to go to go to class, yeah, outsiders, what's up, you Jersey as hell, alright, I like that, um, me and Lewis was about to go to class, we was in uh, the classroom building before they had a name for that motherfucker, shout out to Penn State, before they had a name for, I don't even know what the name is, I still call it the classroom, it was, it was Cobb. Classroom office building. We was in the class. We was in cop. I was about to go to my Italian class. He was like, "Ran, hold up. You gotta hear this verse. Put the album on. Put he put the verse on for me. Her verse from Zealous. Yes, behold, this is my old manifold upon your mind. Two MCs cannot occupy the same space at the same time. It's against the laws of physics. Physics." So weep as your sweet dreams break up like eurythmics. Rap reject my tape jack ejects projectiles. Whether Jew or Gentile, I rank top percentile. Many styles more powerful than gamma rays. My grandma pays like Carlos Santana plays Black Magic Woman. So while you fuming, I'm consuming mango juice under Polaris. You just embarrassed because it's your last tango in Paris. And even after all my logic and my theory, I add a motherfucker so you ignorant niggas hear me. I said, what the fuck are you? Hold on, hold on, run it back, run it back. Ran that verse back three times. I was late for class. 
didn't pay attention at all in class. I was thinking about diverse, went out, bought the Fuji's album, listened to the whole thing. And I just went back to Zealots and I listened to that fucking verse a hundred times, bro. And when they came to Penn state in 90, I forget if it was 97, 98, it was tribe and the Fuji's and the score was so big that tribe open for the Fuji's was still kind of, yeah, I still wasn't fucking with that idea. But Tribe opened for the Fuji's. Tribe killed it. And I was front front and center the whole time. Fuji's come out, doing a couple of joints. And I hear, doobop, doobop, that they sampled for Zealots. And I was like, oh, my God. And let me just tell you, when Lauren spit her verse, I was standing right there front row, and I was spitting it right back at her. Like, we was, we had a moment, bro. It was, it was It's one of the greatest moments of my 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 hip hop life, and I uh, I feel like had I been able to find Lauren after the show, because I found out later some of my people wound up hanging out with the with the Fugees after the show, which at the time like when I was when I was you know at Penn State I had no concept of that of just hanging out with fucking with rapping after shows i had no idea like it was like what these fucking guys are world famous what the fuck they want to do hanging out with with my goofball ass right um and you know knowing years later that I, you know having done it and it was the fucking it was just they was just regular ass people you know whatever but had i been there i feel like me and lauren we had a moment during zealots and i think we would have I don't know. I have that same thought about Jill Scott. Uh, I met her in Pittsburgh one time. I think maybe had I been home, we was in Philly, maybe I could be like, "Hey, you know, why don't we just go get a donut or something and like just just kick it?" Um, didn't happen. Whatever. Um, but that's what I wanted from Miss Education. I wanted that same feeling. And the stuff that she spit was dope. But it didn't have me there. And it so for me, it's, it was a bit of a disappointment. I've heard other people say that they got exactly what they needed from that record. Like that exact, like everything that she gave them in on Miss Education was exactly what they needed from Lauren. And I, you know, God bless that. And that's one of the things that, uh, one of the things I've been that I'm trying to do with this and just sort of, like I said, let go of a lot of my, my hatred and disappointment and stuff and just sort of express whatever feelings I have about it without there being any negative emotions. So I don't want to have any negative emotions about miseducation. It was cool and it did what it was supposed to do. And it was, you know, it was a huge, huge record. Um, and yeah, you know, so that's the deal with that. Um, it's 10 30. I got to wash these dishes and I got to do some other stuff around the crib and get ready to go to bed and all that kind of stuff. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I will be back next week, next week, next week. I want somebody to tell me, you know, I want to, I will find a way to, you know, you can put your whole triest in any one of these, uh, any one of these these various chat spaces, whether it's Twitch or YouTube or or Facebook, I you know whatever your thing is that that you really like, really love, whatever, and I want you to help me understand it so that so my hatred from it is go, about it is gone. Um, whatever that is, whether I have any negative feelings about it, I just want y'all to be able to you know express that here as well. I'm trying to get trying to get stuff from y'all back to me so we can all just sort of build off of each other's stuff and and move forward you know and discover some new stuff if if we're able to do so um so yeah um we'll be on uh in the comments here and on uh on twitch are the links to gangstergrass.com slash new year's eve that has uh, that will be updated with all the info that's coming on. Um, all that stuff is going to hit all of our social media as well. 
for what we're doing this year on New Year's Eve with uh, American Music Abroad. So make sure you guys keep your eyes and ears open for that. Stay tuned. Um, and you'll see me on all of our various social media, uh, Gangsta Grass, uh, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter um, and on Black Planet and on GeoCities and on MySpace and all that kind of stuff. You can check all that stuff out um, to see where we're going to be fishing shows all right so next week you tell me why you love fishing shows i want to i want to i want to know the whole thing and why why i should chill and watch a fishing show why would i want to do that um yes yeah, so check all that stuff out we'll be here friday night nine o'clock for the weekly team stream and i will be back next tuesday and next tuesday it'll be a new year so make sure you guys all have a happy and safe New Year's Eve. I want to see y'all out in these streets acting a fool. Um, if you want to go outside and be like, hey, we out here just, you know, we're going to blow up some stuff outside of our house. Please do that. Wear your mask. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wash your butt. I love y'all. Um, happy New Year. I'll see you next week. This is your man, our son, the voice of reason, a.k.a. the Super Tribble. Tribble Nation, wherever you're at, I'm at. Wherever I'm at, you're at. We hold it down. The Rand of Steel. Comic book Jedi at Amalgam Comics and Coffee House. Shout out to all my Amalgam family. Um, for Gangster Grass, it's your man, The Voice. Y'all be cool. Peace. Stop streaming. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Yeah. <laughs>